To be safe, always double walls. I also like to place bits of wall out in front since the enemy stops to gnaw on them before they reach your actual base. Note that you don't need to connect distant parts of your base. If you find some resources, build up power to sustain that mining operation and set up new walls. Early on, you'll use lots of wind and solar power. You can mix and match, but it's wise to have batteries for those times when the wind is slow or the sun isn't shining. If you're using solar panels, you should build three panels for every one battery to cover energy costs at night. All mined resources will get pooled no matter where it is. If this outpost is too far from your main base, be sure to drop a rift portal. They're cheap and have no upkeep, and you can teleport to them from the map screen. You can also teleport to your main hub in this way, and the hub actually heals you for free. What's more is that every time you teleport, you automatically leave a temporary portal behind, meaning you can return to that exact spot later after you're done defending or whatever. This temporary portal remains for a decent while, and you can use it multiple times. When a distant outpost depletes its resources, sell the old miners and build new ones on a nearby deposit without moving the entire base. Simply connect them remotely with wire connectors. Holding down the build button will build wire connectors at max range, whereas building other things by holding down the build button will stack them next to each other. If there's no resources nearby, you can also build carbonium and ironium synthesizers and leave the outpost to continuously produce resources for you. If an enemy swarm is looming, you can easily defend or recycle the exposed miners. Enemy swarms are attracted to the nearest structure you built or you if you're closer. In this way, you can pull large swarms away from your base. Also, don't forget to set up hotkeys for buildings you use a lot. For example, X builds a sentry turret, but I rarely built this tower later on, preferring siege and splash damage instead, so set up your hotkeys appropriately. And the left alt button switches between different upgrade levels of a selected building. Here are some final hotkeys and basic tips. The picker tool allows you to select a building so that you can build more of it. The cell, repair, and upgrade tool can all change size with the mouse wheel. You can see how many resources are left in a deposit by switching to build mode. Also, press Q or E to switch left or right in the menu. Finally, the escape key will pause the game and grant you access to some important menus. They each have their own hotkey, but I just access them from here. Want to know how to zoom in and out? Click here and subscribe to keep up with all my guides and funny reviews.